Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm tired. Tired. Well, we are in the middle yes. of the week, so yeah. Uh, that's normal that you might feel tired in the middle of the week. And you guys, how do you feel today? Uh huh. Rafael, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being on time. We are on, well, today is Wednesday. We are in the middle of the week. We are basically starting the unit number three. So I hope you remember the topics that we studied yesterday because today we are going to have a lot of practice as always. Okay, I hope you're ready to participate. I hope you're ready to talk because as always, today we are going to talk a lot. Okay? So welcome, welcome everybody. I cannot see you guys. Where are your cameras on? I wanna see you. Uh, let's see, Osman, how do you feel? Do you feel better or are you still sick? Hi, hi teacher, good evening. Good evening. Today I feel, I feel better teacher. I feel yeah. better. Okay. Yesterday I, I had a strong headache, very strong. I know, uh, I imagine I that. I, I, can't, I can't stay uh, or all class yesterday, only one a meter or mm -hmm. hours. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, now I feel better. Um, okay. We, we had to, to try. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, thank you for the effort. But do you take a medicine or something? Uh, only a, como, a, a pastilla. How do you say pastilla? Pills. Pills, sí. only a pills. Uh, but my problem uh, is for a, a, a stressful a stress. Oh, yeah. Mm, uh, the, the, the better medicine doctor tell, uh, tell me, uh, told me. That your better medicine is take take relax. You you can sleep more. Ah uh, yeah. So yeah. that is basically affecting you. Yes, mm. yes. So yes. I, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, <laughs> I hope you get better soon and you don't Thanks, have that teacher. issue. Yeah. Thank so you guys, you're welcome. So everybody, so try to sleep, okay? Um yes. when the class finishes, go directly to sleep, okay? Direct, direct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I know, I know that you have to uh, work, you have to wake up early. You are doing a big effort, everyone. So thank you. And uh, but if you can take a nap in I mean you during too, the teacher. day. You too. <laughs> thanks no but yeah. you know if i have five minutes i try to take a nap and that i feel that that helps me so if you can do it guys five ten minutes do it that's it's going to help your body to recover a little bit okay uh, well uh, i can see only osman like ah, i can see bodies hello bodies how are you Fine, thank you, teacher. Excellent. Welcome to the class. Thank you. I I I I I I really uh, the the learning today. Ah, you are ready for learning. That's great. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for staying in the class. And uh, let's start. Do you remember the topics uh, that we studied yesterday? The where the 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 warehouse, warehouse, and warehouse and the stock control. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, we studied about warehouse. We checked the difference between warehouse managing and the stock control. Excellent. So today we are going to continue. We are going to have more practice. 
And of course, we are going to learn more vocabulary, more topics. Let me start sharing the presentation. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes, excellent. Yes. Yes, All teacher. right, very good. So today is July 19th. We are in the middle of the week number four. So if everything goes well, so we are talking about that one more week and it's over, okay? Don't forget to continue working on the platform, please, okay? So today uh, we are going to talk about uh, common issues related to warehouse processes okay so we are going to see some issues some problems that we can face and this is the class objective i need a volunteer please for reading the class objective me teacher thank you go ahead Cl class objective participants will be able to hear words and prices re related to le leadership and being a manager. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So basically, we are going to check vocabulary, guys. But before that, as always, let's practice simple past. And we are going to do it through a board game. I have here some questions in simple past. And the idea is that you need to talk for only one minute, okay? One minute is simple. You already talked for two minutes, so one minute is going to be a piece of cake. So in this board game, we are going to use some dice. Do you know what dice is? Yes. Not teacher. Look at the, uh, the screen. If I have dice, what is this? Look. What is that? Okay. Okay. So this object is a dice. Yeah. Son uh, dados. Okay. So how can I say dados in English? Dice. Dice. Pretty good. So I have two dice over here and I have the questions. Each question has a number. So depending on the number that the dice says, that's the answer that you need to answer. So I need a volunteer. Do I have a volunteer or should I pick someone? Uh-huh, volunteers. Ah, come on, <laughs> don't be afraid. You can do it. It's only one minute. Okay, if I don't have volunteers, well, let me pick someone. Um, I'm going to pick, well, I'm going to pick bodies. Hello, bodies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bodies. Let's okay. see. Look at this. Let's see the number. Okay, we have four and two. Okay, so we got four and two. Okay, so this is your question. Who? Okay, look at this one. Let me do it bigger. This is your question. Who did you talk to? before the class. Remember that you had to talk for one minute. So tell me the person you talked to and tell me why, what did you say? Something like that, give me details. Is it clear, the question? Uh, ¿Se entiende la pregunta? Who did you talk to before the class? <laughs> What is the meaning so, of uh, who? Who? What is the meaning of yes. who? Who? Yeah, sorry, is a. Okay, ¿qué significa who, everyone? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? ¿Quién so, in... 
Exactly. ¿Con quién, right? ¿Con quién habló antes de la clase? Who did you talk to before the class? And tell me details. What did you say? Why did you talk to that person? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. You have one minute. Go. Okay. I. I. Visited my my mother. I I I, I talked with my mother uh, about for the 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 life uh, is the 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 complicate the life is um and on the time on the long time is uh, um uh, the families. Is the, the the group the, is a uh, very 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 family bit bit family bit family bit family mm -hmm. uh, a a lot of, a lot of time in in the in today is a uh, is a uh, only only per person. And time's up, time's up, one minute. Okay, pretty good. So imagine guys, if I want to say familia, how can I say familia? Fam. Family, right? Fam. But if Fam. I want to say familiares, how can I say that? Parent. Which one? Parent. Relatives. Mm. Okay, look at that one. We have a difference, okay? Pay attention to this. Uh, parents, what is parents? Padres. Padres. Yes, in this case is when I'm talking about father and? Mother. Mother. But if I want to say familiares, we say relatives, okay? So relatives. relatives. How can I say, yo tengo familiares in San Miguel, for example? How can I say that? I have our relatives in San Miguel. Very San Miguel. good. I have relatives in San Miguel, right? Ah, I have relatives in the United States. So relatives, relatives, okay? Okay, now, thank you. Boris, Boris talked for one minute. It's very good. Boris, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, a big sorry. A big thing is... Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, uh, Elias, Nathalie. <laughs> Hello, Elias. Are you there? Hi, Hello. good night. Good evening. Oh my. <laughs> Let's good see what. Okay, look at the dice. Da -da -da. Okay, we have five and five. Okay, let's see. Five and easy, five. Easy, easy. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Oh, it says ask a any question. Okay. Oh. Um, in this case, ask any question means that you can pick. Mm. I don't know if you can see it, but you can pick yeah. the one that you prefer. Uh, da -da. Talk about. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Difference, how was like different? Five seconds. If you don't uh, pick, I will pick five. Four. Uh, I pick um, three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. Uh, what, what did you do last night? Okay, what did you do last night? You have one minute. Go. Um, uh, yeah. um First, <sighs> arrived. I arrived home at seven o'clock. 
Um, then I cooked my dinner. I fried uh, two egg, two eggs and two breads, and then I. <laughs> I I studied English with all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> studied. Um, oh, come on. Um, sure. Um, at ten past o'clock, ten past. Um, I go to the supermarket. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> to the supermarket? At yeah. The <laughs> yeah. I, I go to, I go, go to, no, no, no. I bought um, meat for the lunch for the next day. So wow. for the lunch that the, uh, today okay what is the past form of uh, go wind ah very good very um, good okay nice uh, remember guys that in english we have countables and uncountables can i say two breaths what do you think um, uh, peace Ah, in that case, you can. If you say peas, yes, you can say two pieces of bread. But remember oh, okay. that in English, bread is uncountable. So we cannot say the word in plural. What you can okay. say is, I bought some bread. Okay? Pretty good. Okay. Elias, pick someone, please. <laughs> oh my god. Well, a victim. My, my big team will be um only one. Wilbur. Wilbur. <laughs> Hello, man. Wilbur. Okay, okay. I will have my reverence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it says three and six okay we have three and six oh again come on okay you can pick the question that you prefer but you have five seconds pick the question that you prefer um what you did can... you do this morning? Okay, what did you do this morning? You have one minute. Go. Uh, today I woke up uh, early. Uh, I prepared to go to my work. And I, I got late because uh, the traffic was uh, was not so good. Yes, uh, but after that, I I had my dinner. <laughs> I had my dinner uh, in the morning. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, it was because uh, I had something to do in the office. Usually, I don't, I don't work in the office, but today was a, uh, it was deception. So I, I had my breakfast. After that, uh, I had to uh, install a GPS in the car, and after that, uh, I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay pretty good one minute okay now uh, be careful because you said dinner uh, like oh. i had dinner <laughs> sorry. So sorry that's why i was like dinner breakfast. in the morning <laughs> ah, that is the one breakfast <laughs> excellent okay wilbur pick one of your classmates please okay big team big team the big team the next big team 
Carlos Ernesto. All right. How are you, man? <laughs> Hello, Carlos. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carlos, look at this. Four and one. Okay, we have one over here and four. Ah, look, this is an interesting question. Talk <laughs> about a dream <laughs> that you had. Okay. Go ahead. Tell us. Uh, uh, a, long, a long time ago, uh, I had a dream. Uh, I dreamed with the Virgin. Uh, um, the Virgin is is suspend sus, suspended in the in the floor the, in the next next house. Uh, <clears throat> I can, I can, I could, I could see, see, see her. Uh, the virgin uh, knock, no, the window of the next, the next house. But the, 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 the family, the other house, uh, no, now open the, the window. Okay, time stop. <laughs> I didn't want to stop the timer because I wanted to continue listening to the dream. I I not feel the, <laughs> the, the minute. <laughs> okay, but look at this one. A interesting dream. <laughs> yes. Now, if I want to say the negative sentence, for example, in this case, he said the neighbors not opened Okay. Uh, the window, right? If I want to say the sentence uh, in negative, how can I say um, that? The no, it will be didn't. That is the one exactly. So we can say, ah, the neighbors didn't or yes, did open not the open <laughs> the yes. window. Don't forget the auxiliary. Okay. It's Excellent. similar. I I say. I I didn't feel the minute. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. So you see, guys, you are talking a lot. Something that I like is that you are giving details. And if you see now, you are paying more attention in the verbs in past. Sometimes we still say some verbs in present, but most of the verbs you are saying them in in simple past. So you are doing great, everyone. Okay, uh, Carlos, pick someone, please. Another victim. Uh huh. Excuse pick. me, my microphone. <laughs> pick uh, someone. Maybe Ana Lorena. All right. Hello, Lorena. Hello, teacher. Okay, Lorena, let's see. We have I'm sorry. five and two. <laughs> okay, let's see what question do you have. We have five and two. Okay, <laughs> this is an interesting question. Let's see. Talk about the last time you were angry. Do you remember? <laughs> okay. uh, today I am angry, but I think that uh, I was be uh, yesterday. Uh, first, uh, I have a, I had a discussion with my boss uh, for a uh, a document. And I feel uh, really angry. Next, uh, this situation, I had a headache all the 
afternoon. And I had a, a little uh, time for uh, take take reason. Um I tried uh, for to forgot it. Okay, very good. So you see, you're talking for one minute. Now, what is the simple past of the verb feel? Felt. Felt. Which one? Felt. Felt. That is the one. Feel is in simple present, like, ah, I feel happy. But in simple past is felt. Okay. Yes, I, I, I remember how uh, read, but the pronunciation uh, is wrong. Yes, I know that happens. So that's why, guys, always we need to continue practicing because exactly in this case, feel is an irregular verb. So the irregular verbs are a little bit complicated because remember that they change totally. So in presence, we say feel, but in simple past, look, is different. So we say felt. Okay, so remember, we need to continue practicing the verbs, the regulars and the irregulars too, okay? We have time for one more person. So Lorena, pick please the last victim. Rafael. Okay, hello, Rafael. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Let's see what question you have. We have five and six. And six. Okay, five. And I think this is six. Okay. Uh. Yes. Talk about a time you spent a lot, a lot of, of money. money. Okay. Actually, Go actually, ahead. actually uh, today the, the salesman uh, Talked to me, uh, my motorcycle arrived to the country. My new motorcycle arrived to the country, and I going to buy a a, a new motorcycle. And, and I going to pay the Saturday, and with and. It's a lot of money. It's a uh, um two hundred fifty uh cc more, and it's a uh, half cylindrada. No sé cómo decir media cylindrada. Which one? Media cylindrada is half. No sé. Yeah, me neither. We are going to look for it. Okay. Um, okay. And that. <laughs> okay. So congratulations for your new, uh, your new motorcycle. Thank you. How do you feel about it? I'm excited. I I I want to travel uh, out of the country with with this new motorcycle. <laughs> Very good. Good for you. Thank okay, you. very good guys. Excellent. So, because of the time, I cannot interview all of you, but I expect that you practice simple past in your free times. Okay? Practice the verbs always. Try to learn new vocabulary, try to learn new verbs. Okay? Well, um, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance. So, everybody, when you listen to your names, you know what to do. Ana Lorena. Ana Lorena. Uh, okay, I cannot hear you, but I know you're here. Okay. Um, Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. good. Carlos, Carlos Ernesto. Ernesto. Present. <clears throat> Present okay. teacher. I have a problem with my microphone. Okay. Thank you, Lorena. No problem. 
Um, Edwin, Antonio. Okay, very good. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Edwin. Okay. Uh, Elias Neftali. Present. Okay. Uh, Ulises Torres. Oh, I think he's listener. Okay. Um, Jose Salvador. Present. Okay, thank you. Josman Atilio. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Present. Thank you. Osman Enrique. Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Pamela, no? Okay. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Santiago Roberto. Santiago Roberto. Okay, and Wilber Antonio. Alberto, I'm sorry. Present. Wilber Alberto, thank you. Okay, excellent guys. Well, let's continue. Let me share the presentation again. Let's try to review the topic a little bit, the topic that we studied yesterday so we can have the practice for today. Can you see the presentation? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yesterday we were talking about the warehouse management. Okay. We studied some vocabulary. So let's see. Do you remember, guys, the meaning of uh, mm, mm, rotten? What was that? Do you remember? Is the fruit, for example, in well state state. Mm -hmm. So that's a good one. When the fruit is no yeah. longer good, so it's in a bad state. Okay. Uh, how about guys? What is the meaning of mm -mm -mm, out of season? Do you remember what is that? Out of season. The eating isn't available before it's like, the production stop or I don't know. Okay. Expiration day, teacher. A similar expiration day. Mm, do you think that out of season is similar to expiration date? No, maybe it's when uh can update the product because it's not uh of the time for example when have products about fruit and mm -hmm. the fruit is not available for for make the product is out of season maybe very good yeah we have different scenarios where we can use out of season especially for example as your classmate mentioned the fruits uh, you know that for example in our country we don't have mangoes all, all the time, right? There are some months where mangoes are not available. Why? Because it's not the season. So another example is if you remember yesterday, we were talking about some products for Christmas, for example. If you go to the supermarket right now, right now, I mean, is July, do you think that we are going to find some product or Christmas decoration in the supermarket? What do you think? Can we find Christmas decorations right now in the supermarket? No, because it's no. a time to Christmas. Exactly. So it's not Christmas yet. That is the meaning of out of season it's not the season for something so it's out okay now what is the meaning of restock do you remember it's a uh, is a uh, put the, the the product in a space mm -hmm. in the in space 
uh, for for example, in space is a uh, two cell phone. Uh, right now it is a uh, only only cell phone is rest re, re, uh, re, I'm sorry. Restock the, the stock? other other the other cell phone. Okay. Right. Do you agree, everyone? Um, for me, restock is the action of uh, reposition of inventory. Mm, okay. Or basically, when we say refill, right? Imagine that you have a store. You are selling a lot of products. And suddenly you say, hey, we don't have more uh, milk. What do we need to do? We need to restock the product. We need to bring more milk, okay? So that is the meaning of restock. So is it clear the meaning of this vocabulary? This is the one that we studied yesterday. Is it clear? Teacher, yes. mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I was a spy uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean by replenish? Replenish. Yes. Basically, guys, replenish and restock, they are kind of similar. Okay. They are kind of synonyms. What happens is that replenish can be translated not only as a refill, but also as a replace. I don't know if you remember the example that I mentioned yesterday. Imagine if you break a window. So what do you need to do? You need to replenish the window, okay? So they are like synonyms. They are very close in the meaning, okay? Okay, pretty good. Everybody, is clear this vocabulary? Okay, well, I hope it is. Is, is, is it, uh, I, I, am, I don't understand the up, up, up of season. Out of season. Out of season. Okay. Imagine, guys, for example, if you go to United States right now, that is July. In United States right now, what season is it? Is summer, winter, autumn, or spring? What is the season in the United States right now? Is cold or is hot? It's hot. It's very hot. Why? Because right now in the United States, is summer, okay? So if I go to the clothes, if I want to go shopping, ¿creen que voy a encontrar abrigos, coats, no. and the stores? No. No. Si yo voy a la tienda y les digo, hey, do you have some coats? They will say no, because coats, are out of season, okay? Coats. When can I find coats? They will say, we will have coats maybe on, uh, well, maybe in October, okay? November, December, that is when it starts the cold weather, okay? Is it clear now the meaning of out of season? Yes. Well, basically, if you translate yes. it, it's just fuera de temporada, right? Okay. So that is basically the translation. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now, yesterday we were talking about the warehouse management. Do you remember the difference between warehouse management and stock control? Oh, it's a mistake in the spelling. Let me fix it. Uh huh. Do you remember the difference? Anyone? What is the difference between warehouse management 
and stock control. The the waters manager management the what and uh, what else manager is a um, is a uh, control of process. Uh, 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 stock control is a uh, uh, control the 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 even inventory inventory the the product mm, okay how about you guys do you agree what is the difference i think the warehouse management is a a control of the location or the 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 place and mm -hmm. stock control is is uh, relative to the uh, to the stock. Okay. Everybody, how about you? Anyone else? Uh huh. No one else. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Okay. Okay, Lorena, and then Hosman. Okay. Okay, maybe warehouse management is referred to um, administration of location and stock control is referred to inventory of products. Okay, Postman. And warehouse management is the, the control of the day day, the mm -hmm. operation. Mm -hmm. And the uh, stock control as the maximum provide the invent uh, inventory in the stock. Ah. For the sales. Good. Look, the ideas that you gave me, well, they are very close. They are uh, totally correct. And if you remember, yesterday we checked some vocabulary. So, which of this one is going to tell me where the items are? the warehouse management or the stock control. If I want to know where I can find the products. Mm -hmm. Is a, well, a warehouse management. A warehouse management. Mm. Yes. And if I need to know how many products do I have, if I want to know when I need to order more, which one is going to do that? Warehouse management or the stock control? The stock control. Is the, the stock control. Very good. So basically that is a difference, okay? Is it clear, everyone, the difference between warehouse management and stock control? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, keep in mind that maybe we can have another exam, so be careful. Now, uh, very fast, yesterday we also reviewed some types of warehouse, okay? Do you remember the three types of warehouse management that we studied yesterday? Holding warehouse. Holding warehouse. What else? Uh -huh. Distribution center. That's and correct. The, Very good. And cross docking center. center. Correct. Okay. Do you remember what is the characteristic of the holding warehouse? Mm -hmm. The holding warehouse, the products. Um, stay for a long time very good the product stayed there for a long time what else another characteristic of the holding warehouse are they big or small it's big they are big. He, he used the other companies. Mm -hmm. 
So if I hire or if I outsource a holding warehouse, is it cheap or expensive? Expensive. Expensive. It is expensive, exactly. Well, those are the characteristics for a holding warehouse. Very good. Now, oh. what is the character? Yes. Other characteristic is that the, the, the focus is only on the on receiving, 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 receiving. and shipping. Basically. Mm -hmm. And if you see, guys, in this case, remember, they are huge. They are very big. So they have the capacity, the uh, capacity to keep the products for a long time. That's why it's very expensive. expensive. Now, distribution center. Hmm, what is the characteristics for the distribution center? Is the is, uh, who is a space user for temporal? Tempor? Temporary or temporary? It's temporary. Temporary. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this case, the product stay there for a short period of time. What else? Another characteristic of the distribution center? Distribution center, I think, is opposite uh, holding. <clears throat> mm -hmm. it's, Why? It's um, because the, the product is staying this uh, small time. Mm -hmm. And if two is small. Yes. So, in this case, the distribution center are smaller, okay? The products stay there for a short period of time. So distribution center, what happens? The price is costly or is a little bit cheaper? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit cheaper. Yes, exactly. Remember that is one of the characteristics, okay? They try to reduce the cost because remember the product is there, but just for a short period of time. Is it clear the difference between distribution center and the holding warehouse? Yes? Yes. Okay, yeah. now, Cross docking, what is the characteristic of the cross docking center? Do you remember? Uh -huh. uh, the product no, no, no store in the warehouse. Ah, okay. The product doesn't stay doesn't. or is not storage in the warehouse. Why? Uh, because uh, the product arrive is direct directly at the other truck, for example. Yeah. Uh, well. That's it. That is a characteristic of the uh, cross docking center. It's just if we look at in this way, guys, a cross docking is like a bridge. Do you know what bridge is? Yes, no? Okay, bridge is un puente, right? So the cross docking center, it's basically like a bridge, okay? So the products arrive in a vehicle and at the same time, the, I mean, the product go directly to the another vehicle and go. So basically the product doesn't stay there. Look, no storage in between. That is the difference with the cross docking center. Got it? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, in, in my company are 
our distribu distributors has uh, this operation. Ah, uh, interesting. For for our distributor distributor is very important the programmation mm -hmm. uh, because we need oh, my company needs uh, to notify uh, to our distributor how many uh, vehicles we are we are sent ah okay and, and then uh, they they do his its programmation that is very Paper. important. So imagine, thank you for the example. In this cross docking center, do you think that the schedule is important? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. It, it, yes, is. Yes. it is the word that I am looked. Look. <laughs> A little is stressful, it, it, right? <laughs> it, it, it's important for the match the product, the yes. other company. It is. So look at this one. When the inbound or incoming vehicles arrives, I mean, the other vehicle has to be ready to. Because again, in this kind of cross docking center, we don't have a storage. Or if we have a storage, it's the minimal. Si va a haber yes. un storage, es solo porque el otro vehicle o uno de los dos no llegó a tiempo, right? It's not on time. So the storage is minimal. So schedule programming in this kind of center is crucial. It's very important. Okay? Okay. Very good. So is it clear the difference between the three types of uh, warehouse management? So. <laughs> yes, so so uh, come In on. My case, so. <laughs> okay, let's clarify that. Let's have a practice so the vocabulary can be totally clear. I have here the three basic type of warehouse. Listen, these are the basics. We have more. Okay. Now I have the three warehouse look, and I have here the definitions. I want you to read the definitions in match. For example, holding warehouse. Hmm. What is the best definition for holding warehouse? What do you think? In your opinion? What do you think? What will be the best definitions for a holding warehouse? Traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. Mm, do you agree, everyone? I agree. Are you exactly. sure? Yeah, definitely <laughs> sure. <laughs> With your life? Of course. <laughs> I agree with my life. <laughs> All right, I like that confidence. Okay, how about the distribution center? What is that? What is the best definition for the distribution center? Uh, it serves larger regions and goods uh, are stored short time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation, consolidation orders. Okay. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. So in this case, volunteer for reading the cross docking center definition. It can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to know storage. Ah, look at this. So here we get some definitions. As I always mention, it's necessary to check the keywords. In the holding warehouse, which or what do you think are the keywords? Holding warehouse. 
long term storage very good long term storage that's the key imagine that you have your company if you need to keep your product for a long time hmm, which of these ones is your best options Uh huh. Holding warehouse. The holding warehouse. Correct. Now, what is the key word in distribution center? What do you think? Shorter time. Very good. Look, shorter time. And remember that the distribution center is a little bit cheaper. So if you have a company, you need to save the product, but just for a little time and you don't want to pay so much, you have to pick the distribution center. And in the last one, the cross docking, what are the keywords? What do you think? No storage. Ah, very good. Look. Yes, sir. No storage. And remember that the cross docking center is basically, guys, just terminal or sorting center. center. Exactly. It's basically just a terminal, it's just a connection point. Okay. Now, is it clear the difference between these three types of warehouses? Yes or no yet? Clear? Clear. 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 Ready for the exam? Yes. 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 Ah, yes. Okay, that's the attitude. Excellent. Because we are going to have a practice. Okay, it's not an exam. Relax. It's just a practice. Look, um, we are going to do it in groups, not in pairs. Okay, we are going to do it in groups. I want you guys to think about a business, okay? Like in the previous activity that we had, I want you to invent a business that you have, okay? And think about your company, think about the business that you have, and you have to tell me according to your business, imagine that you need a warehouse. You have to explain me which kind of warehouse you will use and you have to tell me why. And this is an example. Um, I have a company, okay? Uh, in my company, we basically, we manufacture furniture, okay? That's my business. Uh, but I need, listen, I'm just a manufacturer. Okay, so I need to outsource a company because I need a huge space to storage my product. I don't have a space in my company, so I need a space. I need huge space because I have a lot of products. And look at this one, my product, well, and sometimes I don't sell my products as fast as I want. So maybe I need to keep my furniture uh, for some time, okay? So according to this description, what do you think? What type of warehouse do I need? Do I need a holding distribution center or the cross docking? What do you uh, think? Holding. Holding, teacher. Holding. Why? Because you don't sell the products as fast that I that you want. Ah, very good. Look, first of all, it says that I need huge space. Which of these warehousings offers me huge space? Holding, distribution, or the cross docking? Holding. The holding. And then it says that I need, well, a lot of time because I don't sell my products as fast as I wanted. So 
In which uh, warehouse can I keep my product for a long time? In the holding. Yes. Mm -hmm. So basically, I need a holding warehouse. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that is exactly what I want you to do. Uh, think about a business. Okay? Explain what your business is about. And you have to tell me what kind of warehouse you are going to hire. Which of the three warehouses um, you are going to outsource. But you have to explain me why. If you decide holding warehouse, okay, why? Why do you need a holding warehouse? If you decided to use distribution center, okay, why? Why do you need a distribution center? Uh, no teacher, I need a cross docking. Okay, why? Okay, that's the activity that you are going to do right now. Is it clear, the activity? Yes, everyone? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to send instructions on WhatsApp groups and we are going to go to the breakup rooms. I want to everybody try to give your opinions. Um, don't overthink about the business. I think that sometimes uh, some groups spend a lot of time thinking about the product, so don't complicate so much, okay? I'm sending the instructions. Can you see the instructions on WhatsApp groups? Yes? Yes. Excellent, okay. We will be working in teams. I have some people that they are listeners. Um, but right now I can see only two people have the word listener. So I assume that the rest are ready to work. Okay. So everybody, let's go to work. Do your best. And remember, zero Spanish. Let's go. Charlie, I'm sorry, boys. What I, happened with Bur? I was talking with my with my boss. Uh, oh, okay. uh -huh. And if you want to tell me what what we have to do, um, Charlie. <laughs> si me puedes decir qué podemos hacer, I'm watching. And imagine the teacher shared. Um, yes. Hey, prepare a presentation describing the type of warehouse service that you will need to match the business strategy of your company. That's okay. That's the instructions, teacher. We are going it, to present our our a. Uh, our warehouse, our warehouse. It's not necessary to create a PowerPoint presentation. It's not necessary. I just want you to, okay, first think about your business. What your business is going to be about. You decide, invent, invent a business. And then you have to tell me what are your needs. According to your needs, what type of warehouse do you need? So okay. if you decide to use holding warehouse, you have to tell me why you need that type of warehouse. Okay? Nice. Okay, go Thank ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. First, what type of business do you want? Uh, I... Let's do the oh. cross ducking center. I don't know. Maybe... What? Huh? Cross Ducky Center? Nike. Yes. Yes. Yes, Nike. And what is Capital. 
you, you can you can write capital the first letter Nike. Letter T. Ah, Nike. Yes. Okay. Nike. Okay. Copy the example here. Um, do you need uh, or or the space? or the manda the, the manda grow or or the manda grow or because I need the 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 other space or the bit space for the the. The bit inventory, or we we can we can write uh, in in third quarter the year the demand the demand increase increase uh, in uh, two hundred percent. For this reason, we can we need a. Uh, a uh, big stock. I don't know. Uh, in the second, maybe we can try to to contract is the last the last distribute distrib the last type of distribution because vegetables are so so uh ro rot what about you what do you think nelson uh, tell me about uh, what we talking right now uh, I stand up to the bathroom. So we are talking about the <laughs> what product we need to do the activity. Okay. The photo, yeah. We have to choose one product mm -hmm. um, i'm thinking but but um, next we have to choose what type of distribution we need for our product okay mm -hmm. distribution center yeah mm -hmm. in my opinion mm -hmm. I want to buy, I want to sell computers. Okay. Uh, all of kind of computers and I need uh, a, a big, uh, a big uh, warehouse. Uh, but uh, yeah, a big warehouse because the computers are, um uh, big it's not a, a small item or if if our product are computers um yeah. our distribution our distribution our type of distribution may, uh, is distribution center um, i need to to uh, I don't know to store uh, my computers for a long time uh, because it's necessary to me uh, um, sell fast, but uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, it's, uh, certain that the sales are faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, but what do you think, uh, Hosman and Edwin?
For me, it's okay. You can use that. What? In the middle of the in the area, who they can uh, uh, talk the product and transport for the different warehouses. Okay. Uh, well, I imagination the the transport the product is fast. Uh, we talk about it uh, around uh, one, two days max. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, the, come on, the product is staying in the cooler. It's true? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, they mm. buy the product in La Union, for example. Sometimes in Sonsonate, depend the products. Okay. The origin is um, they have a uh, many origins. Okay. Uh, in hey, I have some problem with my laptop. I don't know why. I, I, I was thinking I don't know yeah, it just uh, happening I don't know I was thinking in the case uh, the product is simple mm, will be cross docking center yes they need a cross docking center okay okay and their area Mm. Could be San Salvador in the middle yes. of the country. Um, I, don't know. I don't know. Center distribution. Yes, we 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 can work about distribution center because the product uh, doesn't need doesn't need uh, a long time a long time of storage uh, storage uh -huh. because we don't many many many, many companies uh, uh, have chains to to this model right. because it is more where uh, this this channel distribution give more revenue just me but I remember that we we can use shorter, shorter maybe something. maybe uh, we need the fine to the uh, spice that you need because if it's a a little space it's a distribution center but if it's a big space we need a a high folding folding warehouse uh -huh. yes. maybe uh, we can add uh, in description that this space is a a chart maybe yes and their product right i depend that the that, that type of product is yeah. it the correct the 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 holding for example holding distribution or product talking. yeah uh, what mm -hmm. product uh... well, okay for example in my case on uh, or in my case in, in my job uh i the warehouse uh holding warehouse because the the different product and and different type 
is an electrodomestic for house. Uh, the distribution, the warehouse and distribution store. And uh, in my in my store, I my product is the sales and and delivery direct uh, a, consu a, a customer. And because uh, in the warehouse, uh, ex ex the product, uh, the the basket, my store and different store. This is in the case that it, that take the product. I different situation depend the, the, the activity of the company. In the activity, for example, the company, the food is necessary, the cross docking center. For example, uh, in Sonsonate is the, the la, la salud. Every day, every day, docking a uh, translation products in the morning, four, uh, four or three a.m. and translation. Because the product is necessary translation the the supermarket. It's because the caducity is the store it all it all time short time. Uh -huh. I, it depend, for me it depends the the activity the com the company. Okay. And for me, the for me the more activity the distribution center. This is my know. opinion. Yeah, good product is, uh, winner. Yeah. Oh, for example, um, product is the winner. Star. This is Hansales Carlos. Very tiny. Guys, the, can the you world see world. the chat? Uh, for the, the first product that we talk about, If we choose, we if you we, if we choose a computer, mm -hmm. we need a space, a special space that uh, has a specific cleaning and temp temperature condition. Yeah, the right condition yeah. condition for the product. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is more is easy. <laughs> Mr. Troll, it's but it's for the transportation, a uh, cooler and, and the product stay in the in this day. Uh, to send. It could be to send. To send. Uh, we don't no. need to talk about it, the transport, only the warehouse. Yes, but the <clears> freezer <throat> truck is just like a warehouse. You, uh, the, 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 the seafood uh, arrive to the port. And after that, we need the, the freezer trucks. After uh, the freezer truck goes to any, any mall, for example, you have three more minutes. No, teacher, no. <laughs> Hurry up. The other teams already, well, they almost finished. Okay. So hurry up. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's the meaning of the of the cross docket centers. Uh, the 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 seafood in this is example uh, doesn't stay in a in a in a place to transport in... the seafood around the country. Mm -hmm. All right to transport to transport the, okay the transport. seafood around the country. And we have a cross-stocking center. Hola. And we have the cross-stocking center in San Salvador. See? We use shipping faster. Oh, faster. Faster, fast, I do You're done? You're finished? Fastest. Faster. Yeah. Fast. Really not the just... <laughs> you have three more minutes okay teacher yes we, we can say that the product is shipping faster so it's or fastest. Fast. 
or, or very fast. Mm, what happens is that in this case, because the product is shipping, is just fastest is superlative. So if you oh. are comparing, you can say faster yes, yes. or only fast. So oh. if you if your idea is to say, ah, es que el producto ta, 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 más rápido. Uh -huh. So in that case, you say faster. Okay. If you want to say, ah, llega o el producto no sé qué rápido. In that case, it's just fast. No, But, no more fast. No, you cannot say more because in this o, case, o very fast, in very fast, fast. very fast, yes, correct. Right. Ah, okay, very but fast. or very fast, faster if you want to say más rápido, but fastest is just superlative. Ahí es como decir lo más rápido, but when we are talking about again comparing we, with something teacher, else, teacher, mm -hmm. we, we can we, we also we, we can say. The product is shipping on time. Yeah, that's another idea. Depending on what is exactly what you want to say. But yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to check another group. And guys, three minutes. And then we go back to the main room, okay? Okay, good job. Pretty good. Are you ready, yeah. everyone? Come no. on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you talk too much. You have only three more minutes. The other teams. Oh, my. The other teams, they just finished. So. <laughs> Aha. So three more minutes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Um, I share the the PowerPoint with you guys. Take me one minute more. Okay. I share my my screen. Um I think it's okay. And we need some free air traps to transport around the country. The safety is stored in the port and the freezer. And the freezer took the the seafood. Oh no, in the port. And the freezer truck goes out to the different supermarkets with the seafood around to That's around the country to distribute the product around the country. That's we. Okay. Oh. oh no, see who who distribute. Yeah, 
The product. No. No. The product. Mm. Para no volver a... Por... Siento que se está repitiendo. Sí, sí, sí. En diferentes palabras. Ajá. Spanish. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, teacher, for getting that. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, teacher. You're very the, welcome. The idea we have, but it's difficult. Plus, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, okay. time's up. We need to go back to the main room. Okay. okay. Very okay. good. See you, boys. Good job, guys. Time's up. All right, all right. Let's wait for your classmates to join us. Some of them are, are in the breakup rooms, so let's wait for them. Time's up, time's up. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? What do you think? It was easy. Nice. But I forgot to speak in English. <laughs> okay, my goodness, my goodness. And you guys, easy? Yes? Uh-huh. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? So-so. So-so? Okay. More or less. More or less. All right, well... It's time to present your ideas. So we are going to listen to each group. You have to tell me what kind of business you have. And you have to explain what kind of warehouse you need and explain me the reason why, okay? Let's start with the team number one. In the team number one, I have Carlos, Ernesto, Rafael, and Wilder. Yes? So guys, who wants to start? Someone explain me, please. Give me your details. What kind of companies uh, do you have, guys? We chose uh, the cross docking centers because uh, Rafael was talking, talking us uh, about the business, family business he has, and he was explaining us uh, how how they work. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we started uh, a par a partir de ahí. We, mm -hmm. we started a partir de ahí. From there. <laughs> okay, we started from there. Uh, about the experience, about the, uh, his family experience. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, so the business is about seafood. Yes. All right, that's interesting. Wilbur, can you give us more details about this business? Yes. Uh, they, uh, uh, he said he needs a uh, to transport the seafood in different uh, transport, uh, just like a container or freezer trucks. Oh, okay. uh, yes, uh, he, they have the, the product in the warehouse, the warehouse is the port, the port uh, and, and just is a just the is this product is has a data experience so fast. Uh, it means this is a cross docking center because they don't need to stay stored store in in a place in a long times. So uh, if they very have interesting. to move, mm -hmm, they have to move in a different place to be stored uh, on the freezers just like the supermarket. 
All right, nice. So basically, it, this product cannot stay. Basically, you cannot storage the product, right? Because if you do that, I mean, it's going to be rotten. Okay. Yes, yes. Nice. Uh, Rafael, do you want to add something else? Uh, okay. Uh, we plan to uh, distribute the seafood uh, uh, with a schema of cross docking center. Mm -hmm. uh, the seafood is collected in the port. Uh, La Union, mm -hmm. uh, we send the product uh, around the country uh, uh, in freezer trucks uh, uh, we can distribute the product uh, in, the, in supermarkets uh, around the country, only that. Oh, so you you need different cross dockings in different part of the country, I imagine, right? Yes. yes. You need more than one. Yes, because uh, uh, yes, the right. occident, occidental sun is far away in the la, uh, court, La Union. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds great. Now you can say occidental is correct, or you can say west. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is not correct. Okay, but good. Okay, thank you, team number one. Very good job. Very great analysis. I like that. Very good job. Okay, let's continue with the team number two. In the team number two, we have uh, let's see, uh, Lorena. Boris, Kevin, and Osman. Yes? Okay, go ahead, guys. Explain your business. Okay, teacher, good evening. Uh -huh. um, we was talking about the company when, where, excuse me, where uh, Osman is working. Um, our company is manufacturer of t-shirts Nike and third quarter of the years, the demand increased 50%. The product is export, exported to USA, China, Chinese, and Canada. We need a little space and also the product doesn't be a long time in the warehouse. Uh, here uh, we are talking about the distribution center because we don't need a long time the products in the warehouse. Uh, why? Because the product is shipping and delivering to the customer uh, very fast. Mm, that's interesting. So basically, guys, you don't need um, like a lot of space, right? Or do you need a lot of space? Yeah. We don't need it. You don't need a lot of space, okay? Oh. Do you need to keep the product for a long time? No, teacher. No. Not because, really, right? uh, Because uh, the product uh, uh, shipping very fast. The okay. product don't stay a long time in, in the warehouse. All right, sounds interesting. I like it. There is something important. Mm -hmm. The process, uh, the process have to align. For example, is the capacity of production of production is uh, is one hundred. Yes, cien mil. One. One hundred thousand. One hundred thousand t-shirt. Uh -huh. uh, the uh, shipping department uh, had to get the get the same capacity. Oh, yes. all process has to align. Mm -hmm. That is important. Okay. Anyone in the team? Do you want to add something else? No. 
No? So in this case, guys, do you think that you will pay a lot of money or is a little bit cheaper? Be cheaper. Ah. It, uh, it, because as the uh, the the long time. It's not a long time. Mm -hmm. It's not long. Okay, pretty good. I like that. Nice job. So look at this one. I like the way that you decided to go for difference distribution center. We have the team number one. They were talking about the cross docking. Now team number two, you are discussing about the distribution center. I like that yes, you sir. didn't pick the same. Uh -huh. in, in, in this model, there is something important. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is uh, we, pro, we we factor or we, we make uh the product the customer wants ah. so if you brought if you made the the the, the product the customer want you don't need a you don't need a, a, a big, big big warehouse exactly why you should wait i mean if what the customer want the customer is waiting for it yes mm -hmm. yes Okay, nice. You are analyzing, guys. I love that. Very good job. Thank you. Okay, the last team. In the last team, I had Edwin, Elias, Josman, and Nelson. Okay, boys, tell me, explain me what you have. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Who wants to talk? Okay. Uh, the, the name of our company is 3, 3B Computers. Uh, if you ask uh, yourself what is the meaning, yeah, I'll tell you good, pretty, and cheap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we need to... Our company manufacture computers. And so we need to uh, a huge uh, capacity to store uh, this up this object because the computers are are, are big. It's not a uh, small. Okay. Uh, so uh, computers are not uh, sell faster. Okay, uh, so you need huge space and a long time. Yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Continue, yeah. please. Yeah, the reason is is uh, the computers uh, needs, we need to sell faster but uh, probably is not uh, sell every day or in a huge amount mm, okay. uh, for this case need to sp store a uh, space for a long time okay nice okay i like the name and someone else in the team okay he already explained the business was the company about it what are their needs so in this scenario guys what kind of warehouse do you need somebody to explain that please we need a, a distribution center um in that in that distribution uh, we need to have a delivery and be safe um, for some time and prefer switch to location because we think our product not be just sell in one in one point of the of the country. Mm -hmm. And, okay. and and Nelson say that the computers are fragile, and, and we need some specific uh, condition in the 
in the in the space uh, uh, for example the cleaning and the temperature of the same so you need very specific conditions there yeah mm, i yeah. like that okay but i have a question because you said that you need a lot of space right because i mean yeah you have a lot of computers the computers are you know big um and you said that you need to keep the computers there for a long time so that sounds more like for what kind of warehouse is distribution center the ones that you need are you sure what do you think everybody Yes, no. because distribution center uh, could be used for temporal and long-term storage. Are you sure? No, this is for uh, holding. Yes. So, Tim, be careful because mm -hmm. according to the characteristics yeah. that you are giving, this is more for holding, holding warehouse. The characteristic of the holding warehouse is they have a lot of space and you can use that space for temporal or a long time. In this case, as you mentioned, right? Sometimes you don't sell the computers like every day. So maybe you need the computer. Sometimes it will be for a short period, but sometimes you will need it for a long time, okay? So instead of the distribution center, it will be more for a holding, holding warehouse because of the space that you need it because of the time. Yes, Tim, is it clear the reason why? Okay. It's yeah. more like a holding? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we confuse uh, for yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. But I like the analysis. I mean, the description is good. The, the name of the, the company is nice. And I like the way that you specified all the details that you need. And that is important because remember, if you are going to outsource a, a warehouse, you need to know. Can you offer me? Uh, this and this and this, okay? A, my computers needs a specific temperature. The equipment needs to be in a very clean way. It has to be very safe. You need to specify the conditions that you need, okay? Okay, the only observation is that, okay? Holding warehouse okay, instead sure. of distribution center. Very good, okay, team three, very good. Guys, if you see all of you had a different type of holding warehouse, excellent. Now, do you have any questions about the types of warehouse that we have? Any questions? Or is it clear, the definitions? What, what is the topic, teacher? Type, in this case, type. we are talking yes. about types of type. warehouse. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, any questions? Nope. Yes? No, the teacher is clear no. now. Okay, pretty good. You are doing great. I like your analysis, guys. Very good job. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance again. <clears throat> Sorry. So, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Carlos Alberto. Present. Very good. Uh, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Eulise Torres. Oh, well, his listener. Um, Salvador Bernal. Yeah, I think he's listener too, right? Okay. Um, Josman Atilio. Present. Okay. Kevin Alfredo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. 
Okay. Pamela Carolina. Right. Rafael Alexander. Present. Okay. Santiago Roberto. All right. And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Excellent, guys. Now, when we are talking about this um, warehouse, when we are talking about the different types of warehouse that we have, in order that everything goes well, okay, if we need to have the good functions in the warehouse, basically, we need to have a good leadership. Yes, we need good management. What is leadership? What do you think? What is the meaning of that? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of leadership? Any idea? Liderazgo. Yes, very good. So we're going to discuss a little bit about it, about leadership and management, okay? So to start with, I need your opinion. So I'm going to show you three phrases. Tell me which one do you like more and why? Look at the first one. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Teach here, teach here. Yes. In, in my company use this this phrase, uh, this concept, uh, leaders, leadership, mm. uh, or or man or, or manager uh, say uh, say us. You have to have leadership and accountability. Mm, okay. So uh, have... he, 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 excuse me, I'm going to speak in Spanish. Uh -huh. Eh, nos dicen que tenemos que tener el liderazgo y, y la, la contability, o sea, mm -hmm. el empoderamiento. Ok. And, and that is a good concept. You have to empower yourself. <laughs> or, or, also, there is a, a, a other concept very important. Uh -huh. uh, driver. Uh, or, or, or bus had to, had to have a driver. A driver. Okay. Driver, uh, I don't know, explain in, 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 in English, but in Spanish, el driver uh, es algo que las personas tienen que tener, es decir, haz que las cosas sucedan. O sea, mm. no se puede ser inteligente, tener, tener intención, no. Haz que las cosas sucedan. Cuando It's tú like haces... impulsarlo, right? right? Basically. Pero acompañarlo y asegurar que sea. Mm -hmm. And it is important, guys. All of those characteristics that he mentioned, they are related to good leadership, right? To good management. Very good. I like it. Anyone else? Do you have any other phrase that you used at work about leadership? Nope. Okay, if you don't have it, no worries. Here we got some phrases. I need a volunteer for reading the first one, please. Volunteer for reading. Mm. Which mm. one do you like the best? Why? Mm -hmm. the, the greatest leader is not necessary, necessarily the one who does the greatest thing he is the one that gets the people to do to do the greatest things ronald reagan okay what do you think about this phrase guys do you know ronald reagan it's like the it's like uh osman hernandez said mm -hmm. it's similar pretty good if you see guys it's talking about a leader. The leader is not the one who does all the job, right? The leader is the one who help people to do greatest things, okay? To encourage people to do greatest things, okay? How about the other phrase? Volunteer for reading, please. 
Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. The keys to successful leadership is influence, not authority. Uh, oh. okay. Thank you. Do you agree with this phrase, guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the bo the bus 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 <laughs> uh, bus uh, uh, make authority for the that the people make the things, but uh, one leader uh, have influence uh, over the people that he make the things uh, voluntary, de manera voluntaria? Voluntary. Voluntary. Exactly. If you see, I mean, if your manager ask you in a very rude way, like with authority, hey, do this and this. Do you want to do it? <laughs> no, right? I mean, nobody wants to work in that way. But a good leadership is the one that convince you, okay? They influence you in order that you think, hey, I need to do it. Okay, so that is the difference with influence and authority. Now, let's see the last phrase. Volunteer for reading the last one, please. Who wants to read? Wake up, wake up. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. There's a difference between being a, being a leader and being a boss. Both are based on authority. A boss demands blind obedience. A leader earns authority through understanding and trust. Thank you. So what do you think about this phrase, guys? Do you agree with it? What is the difference between a leader and a boss? What do you think? In your own opinion, with your own words, what is the difference between a leader and a boss? Uh, in my opinion, is the boss is, is a is a is authority for for the company or for the the management. Uh, and and leader leadership is a is the the convince the people convince uh, people convince people uh, the people's uh, how do you say see follow uh, follow the people follows of the leaders leadership. Okay. Uh, boss, boss is a uh, order, order the 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 thing, and leadership is a uh, is a uh, helping the the people. Mm, okay, in your opinion, guys, Teacher. which one is better? Uh huh. Teacher, yes. um, a boss says, "Do it." Mm -hmm. And a leader say, um, let's, let's do it. Very good. Let's do it. So the boss just gives the order, but a leader is, hey, let's do it together, right? Let's work together. So which one is better? Do you prefer to have a boss or a leader? What do you think? A leader. I prefer a leader. A leader, absolutely. So which of these oh. phrases do you like more? Number one, number two, or number three? Number two. Number, number two. two. Number okay. two. Yes, for me, number two. Why? Um, With your own words. Because when you make uh, things for um, authority, uh, sometimes you can make it 
a, a bad way or a incorrect way, but when uh, you make it for a uh, respect maybe to the leader, you can have a more passion maybe uh, for make the thing. Yeah, okay, that's a good reason. <laughs> Pretty good. Your... Uh huh. It's number three. Why? Um, uh, sometimes the boss uh, to give us instruction, uh, but the boss is not is not part in the uh, the team. Okay. The instruction can be a bad instruction. But uh, the leader is part of the team. He, when the the give the give the instruction, uh, the, he he knows. Uh, uh, they say what they say because maybe the experience. Ah, uh, yeah. And basically that person, the leader is there with you, okay? He can show you, he explains what to do, how to do it. So it's better definitely to have a leader and not a boss. Yes. Now, if we are talking about leadership, if we are talking about management, there are some characteristics that they have. And we have positive characteristics and we have negative characteristics. So look at the vocabulary that we have here. Which of these ones do you consider are positive characteristics? What do you think? Teacher, Which of these adjectives are positive? Yes. How do you say empathetic? Empath em empathetic. 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 Mm -hmm. So empathetic is something it's positive positive. Or negative. Yeah. It's positive. 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 What positive. else? Another one that is positive. Flexible. 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 Okay. Likeable. Likeable. Competent. Okay, where is it? I cannot see. Oh, competent. Okay. Self-centered. Self-centered. Is that something positive, you think? No. Um, not really, right? Maybe self what is the What is the meaning of dismissive? Which one? Dismissive. Oh, dismissive. Have you ever uh, heard that adjective, guys? Dismissive? No. Yeah. Okay, dismissive. Um, well, basically, guys, that is negative. Okay, this is a person. We in Spanish call it like being despectivo, right? So that is a person that says, the things but in a very rude way you know they don't talk like when we say something negative we try to say it but in a very kind way right we try to be polite but a dismissive person is someone that says directly in a very rude way okay that is the meaning of dismissive and self-assured. Okay. Oh, okay. Self-assured. Have you ever seen that word before, everyone? Maybe seguro del mismo? Yes. Self-assured, guys, is positive characteristic. This is a person that has confidence. Okay? It's a person that, yes, I can do it. Okay? So, do you think that self assure is positive or negative? Positive. Definitely. Positive. And we have the opposites. Well, self and self. The other one is self-centered. Why do you think that self-centered is negative? 
es como ensimismado. Only Solo piensa en sí mismo. They have a, a opinion. <laughs> exactly. They only think about themselves. They are the only ones that are always right. It's like, I am right, you are wrong. <laughs> okay? That's the way that they think. So it's totally negative. Then we have controlling. Controlling, what do you think? Positive or negative? Negative. Negative, negative definitely. Negative. Teacher, okay. missing courageous? Courageous. Courageous is positive or negative? What do you think? Positive. Oh, definitely. Okay. Yes. Teacher, okay. what does stubborn mean? Stubborn. Okay, guys. Stubborn is a person that when you say, how can I explain this? Imagine that I say, hey, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And you do it. <laughs> you didn't obey. So that means that you are stubborn. How can we translate that? Necio. Yes. <laughs> Necio, right? So that is totally positive or negative. Negative, totally. Negative. Uh, <laughs> Are you stubborn? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. The positive uh, way. Yes. Oh my goodness. When I, I never... was a child. <laughs> uh -huh. Quit out. Oh, uh -huh. I never quit out. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, listen, we are going to continue checking that vocabulary tomorrow because I didn't see the time and it's we don't have more time. Okay, so we are going to continue tomorrow. So, guys, do you have any questions before leaving? Nope. It's okay. Oh, no. Okay, go to work on the please. platform. Okay, please. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, have a good, good night. night. See you. Bye-bye.